So winter time is coming and we're all used to carrying concealed with a t-shirt on. But times are changing when the weather changes, right? I like to layer. I live in Montana. I layer my clothing. But it's important that every time you're going to go out of the house, if you're carrying concealed for defense, that you practice that before you leave. And let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I have three layers on. I mean, I have a t-shirt and then three layers on for insulation. I have an overcoat and then a, a thin insulator and a real insulator underneath. Now, right now, my handgun is in a holster underneath that third layer. So if I'm used to whipping things open, I'm not going to get to that gun. And you don't want to find that out in a time when action is at hand and you've got a bad guy with a gun because he's probably going to figure out what you're trying to do and you're going to be a dead man. So practice on what you're doing. Now what I do is if I have something like today's weather is probably in the 40s, I'll wear like this all day. I probably won't button up. And I like to take a tighter layer. See how this is tighter on the pistol? And I'll layer that inside of the pistol. So now if I have to go to that, I can just whip this away and get that pistol out of the holster. If I want to keep it inside, and if you choose to do that, you can, then you just have to recognize that it's not just the whipping motion of the clothing. You're going to have to get low, edge it up, and get on top of that pistol and get it out. Either way, no matter how you carry, the most important thing is, however you carry for that day, especially now that we're going to start layering up, practice your draw at least once or twice and make sure you carry it that way when you get out in the field. Keep safe.